hi guys welcome to my channel this is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking commenting subscribing and donating to my channel I really do appreciate all the love and all the support and thank you for those of you who've been booking readings with me it is truly appreciated okay so as you guys could tell by the title of this video, this video is going to be about what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself, okay? So my pile number one, you're going to be the Rose Quartz Crystal. Pile number two, the Rainbow Fluoride Crystal. And pile number three, the clear quartz crystal so again pile number one the rose quartz crystal pile number two the rainbow fluoride crystal and pile number three the clear quartz crystal okay so pause this video if you must and meditate on the card or the crystal that you feel most drawn to you'll be able to find your timestamps in the description box below and i'll see you guys at your pile hi pal one welcome to my channel this is Stella beauty tarot back at you again with another video so my pal number one you picked the rose quartz crystal and this is going to be your reading okay so if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pal or previous readings, okay? So my pal number one, what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself? My pal number one, what do people see in you? We have the Ace of Wands, so Ace of Inspiration. So your creativity, you have amazing, beautiful ideas. I'm getting also you are an inspiration to a lot of people. You don't see that about yourself. You are extremely influential, more than you know. Like, I feel like maybe some people may have stolen your ideas in the past. And maybe that um, made you feel some type of way, but I'm getting like, uh, it's because you have amazing ideas, but they can't execute your ideas like you. So don't worry too much about that. Wow. You see yourself as the, oh my God, <laughs> the Empress. She just muted you. Hopefully I don't get flagged. Oh gosh. The Empress. You're beautiful. Okay. It's static. I'm not going to. Put the card yet i'm just gonna get another card so what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself okay so we have i'm just gonna put the empress after uh we have the page of cups okay imaginative highly intuitive like you're right on the like you could find out things about people that most want like you have a good sense of judgment like i'm also getting with the page of cups what do people see in you is that an air of innocence and uh magnet magnetic energy wow this morning i cannot speak guys oh my god we have um the knight of pentacles i'm getting like a perfectionist reliable trustworthy uh, meticulous this is what you don't see about yourself that people see in you that you are extremely meticulous you pay attention to every little detail you're extremely patient more patient than uh, people around you are I'm getting what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself wow that you are wish fulfillment you are wish fulfillment for a lot of people like you're actually extremely desirable 
more than you know like you have a lot of suitors my pal number one that you may not know about or like when you go places a lot of people look at you or stare at you but maybe because you are in your own world or you mind your own business that you don't notice that okay so people see you as a wish fulfillment with a nine of cups what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself guys i can't make it up two of cups desirable okay lovable with the two of cups the ideal partner a lot of you maybe because you've been through um hardship or trauma when it comes to relationship or like heartache like things that you know made you feel like you were unlovable but i feel like it was just the people around you that wanted to take dim your light that wanted to you know bring you down but really you are extremely desirable and that's what people see in you that you don't see in yourself like and i feel like the people that see that in you are the people that actually want to date you yeah ten of cups you see happiness like i'm getting like um somebody to build a family with like a wifey uh, husband material this is what people see in you that you don't see in yourself maybe some of you have given up on love or giving up on relationship and you're more focused on work you're more focused on building your your empire but you are the empress you're extremely beautiful or handsome here okay so you could have um libra or taurus in your chart what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself that you're extremely talented i did say that with the ace of wands now we have the magician gemini virgo energy extremely creative you have multiple skills and i feel like multiple skills and talent that you're not utilizing at the moment like i feel like some of you may not see that you are a great communicator great writer poet i'm getting i'm also getting like some of you could be um excellent uh makeup artists but you do it for fun like you don't really charge anybody like you do it for your family you do it for your friends <clears throat> you see they don't want me to talk you do it for your family you do it for your friends and um you don't see how creative you are like do your makeup is always on point and i feel like people ask your friends or family who did your makeup because they want to pay for it and i feel like some of you don't see it like you can make um money out of your skill and out of your talent what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself? What do people see in you that you don't see in yourself? Wow, the Queen of Cups. See how she's so beautiful? Wow, she kind of reminds me, like, I don't know why I'm getting Princess Diana for some reason. Because Diana was a Cancer. Yeah, so very um elegant and soft whether you are a woman or a man watching here this is what people see in you that you don't see in yourself like you're actually a role model for a lot of people what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself what <laughs> guys the king of pentacles yes a boss and then i say husband wifey material the king of pentacles is a husband okay definitely trustworthy oh uh, you have great potential for success great potential for um building empire you have great leadership skills as well with the king of pentacles you're definitely somebody who will be a great manager like people i feel like you may not be a manager right now but people like your leadership people like to work under you or people like to follow your lead when you do certain things like you're an example what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself some of you are like i said you're not utilizing your skills and your talents that you have like you i feel like you're you're underestimating your talent or you're downplaying your talent because the ace of wands is here again okay you have amazing skills you very creative like some of you could be um interior design decorators or you like to um event uh party events like the people that um i don't think it's uh called interior designer but i like the people obviously that do the decor inside but the ones that do for events for kids or for weddings or for 
not an event planner because it's not an event planner it's these people that like there's a specific name i'm just not coming up with a name if you guys know what i'm talking about just put it down in the comments below please but it's like like there's a lot of them coming out and i feel like you are really good at that so it's like it could be event planner but it's like the people that make those um gifts out of like uh, balloons and they put the gifts inside and they also decorate your your home for like a kids party or a office party i guess it's event planner but this is what i'm getting here some of you could be very good at doing that you may even have the equipment to do so but you're not you like i said you're not utilizing your skills so what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself Ooh. okay we have the devil but this devil is very suggestive so let me just put it like this okay <laughs> i don't want youtube to flag me but very suggestive so very that means like with this devil you're very sexually attractive okay you may not see that about yourself but with that devil coming out and the ace of wands being here twice yes and the empress and she's naked mm -hmm. yes you're very attractive more than you know Okay, you don't see that and I feel like that's why a lot of people stare at you do a double take okay and you don't see it because you're not paying attention to that okay this is why I'm getting like it's mostly people around you that are seeing that that you're very attractive very alluring okay what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself Ooh, that you're extremely generous to a fault though i feel like people may take advantage of you or you're giving heart with the six of pentacles yeah very friendly so just be careful with the six of pentacles some people may see your your giving heart your generosity and they may take advantage of that okay what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself my pal number one what do people see in you that you don't see? Yeah, the Queen of Cups is here again. That you're very loving, very nurturing. Like highly intuitive. Like you could be selfless at times. This is why the Six of Pentacles is here. Like you may overextend yourself for others. So just be careful with that. Like you don't see how like, you know, I feel like pile number one. There's a lot of things about yourself that you're not seeing that you're downplaying. I feel like it's certain things about you that make people made you feel like bad about or made you feel less than because you were like that or you were too giving or you were too loving. These are the same people that were using you or abusing you. We have the nine of pentacles. Okay. People see in you, um, class and elegance this is what i'm getting and i did say that with the queen of cups coming out here people definitely see you as a classy person elegant person poise and um on your way to greatness maybe you're not seeing it at the moment like because of the like it's probably there's a delay but people could see like your future because they could see your work ethics i feel like you're a very great worker with the king of pentacles and the nine of pentacles because i'm getting like perfectionist you like to improve yourself you like to aim for excellence even if you're not where you want to be right now people could see that you're headed for the nine of pentacles the king of pentacles energy where you're going to be living a life of luxury yes guys i can't make it up six of wands okay this is what people see in you that you don't see in yourself success you have what it takes to become extremely successful in your field what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself my pal my pal number my pal number one what do people see in you wow didn't i say eight of pentacles that you are a great worker extremely talented dedicated this is like giving me knight of pentacles energy again because the knight of pentacles is here eight of pentacles nine of pentacles king of pentacles six of pentacles like grounded energy you have what it takes like i'm really getting pile number one you're not utilizing all of your skills and talent and you have the potential for greatness and people see that in you. But I feel like some people that see that in you don't want this to come to fruition. So they're putting like, um, they're giving you bad advice or they're speaking uh, negatively into your life. And you might be listening to them because you feel like maybe they're older than you or maybe they have 
more power than you or they could be in a different position than you so you may feel like they're right but they're not they're just jealous of you you may have like a lot of haters secret silent haters around you yeah you see you're somebody who's invested you see we have six seven eight nine okay seven of pentacles a lot of pentacles here you got what it takes you have amazing work ethics you have the patience that to back it up you have a very giving heart so the universe is going to bless you back by you giving to others so don't stop being um generous with your resources you just be mindful of who you're generous with you could be generous but it doesn't mean you have to be generous with everyone okay just be mindful of the people that are trying to use you because of like your generous or giving heart and some people see that in you that you are very giving so they may act like they need your support but really they just don't want to do the work okay they just want to take shortcuts we have the death card scorpio energy so definitely magnetic and i did say that with the devil so now the scorpio coming out this is like emphasizing on like what people see in you that you don't see in yourself they also see you as somebody who's um resilient with the death card focused that always wants to improve yeah six of pentacles again sorry about that pal number one so what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself my pal number one what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself okay so we have the um this is justice libra energy that you have great um diplomatic skills you're like a mediator a lot of people come to you for advice you have a lot of integrity and with the justice i'm getting like you definitely have the potential to be a leader on a grander scale so like a judge a lawyer okay people see that in you that you don't see in yourself like i feel like right now you're settling in life okay you're settling for not like the bare minimum but like you're downplaying your skills this is what i'm getting here this is why i'm saying like you're settling you're downplaying your skills like you don't see how great you are you have a lot of potential people see that in you six of ones is here we have the this is the page of pentacles you're you're selling yourself short you're coming up as the king of pentacles and the empress but you are like staying in that page of pentacles energy like the people are definitely seeing that you're not utilizing your skills as well okay what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself guys i can't make it up okay ace of swords you have great communication skills this is what i said with the um, magician that came out you have great communication skills people listen to you people uh, take your advice people are inspired by you inspired by your greatness but you're not seeing that in yourself you're not seeing the greatness within you you're not seeing the skills that you possess the talent that you have and the energy and the drive that you have behind it because we have the devil here so there's definitely an energy of um, power intensity about you especially with the um death card it's there but it's like dormant you're not utilizing that skill you're just you know staying in the back end and just like you know observing you're not really utilizing what you've got and some of you are downplaying your skills like i said earlier and then i feel like it's because of the people around you or people in your family that saw the greatness in you from when you were young and never wanted you to tap into that power but you have it already it's not something that you have to search or you have to um get some sort of training you already have the skill okay so that's all I have for you, my pal number one. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number one. Bye. Hi, Bell2. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number two, you picked the rainbow fluoride crystal. And this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous file or previous readings, okay? So, my pal number two, what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself? 
What do people see in you that you don't see in yourself? So what do we have here for you? Ooh, we have three of wands, three of inspiration. You are a go-getter. Like you execute your ideas. Like I feel like you definitely are a leader. My pal number two, I was pal number two. Oh my God. My pal number two, you're definitely a leader, okay? And I feel like you may have like a great sense of humor too. I don't know why I'm getting that. I'm I'm getting like you don't see how joyful you make other people around you. You're like a breath of fresh air. What do people see in you that you don't see in yourself? Guys, I can't make it up. The sun. You're definitely a breath of fresh air with the sun. You're definitely inspiring for a lot of people. This is Leo energy. You're definitely magnetic. Okay, you have that energy whenever you walk into a room. People just stop and stare at you. People gravitate towards you. They love your energy. What do people see in you that you don't see in yourself? Like you definitely have great leadership skills. What do people see in you that you don't see in yourself? Wow, we have the Death Guard, Scorpio energy. Two powerful energies, Leo and Scorpio. I'm getting with the Scorpio energy. Um, you may be intense. You may not see that about yourself and people see that. But like the intensity is not too, it's not intimidating because we have the sun here. So it's like the sun is like making the, that Leo energy is um, like uh, not taming the energy, but it's making it less strong than if it was just the devil, like the devil, the death card by itself. So maybe you have Capricorn in your chart. So what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself wow we have high priestess wow okay you're highly intuitive for sure okay with the death card and the high priestess this is um cancer energy you may have a lot of water in your chart water and fire you may be a mixture of both so like fire sun and um water moon or rising okay what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself? What do people see in you that you don't see in yourself? Wow, we have the King of Cups. A lot of water. You're very nurturing. Um, I feel like a lot of you could be coaches or um, social worker, psychiatrist. Um, you may not be in those fields, but you have the skills and talent to become like, um, like a social worker, a psychiatrist or a coach because people gravitate towards you because of your loving nature with the King of Cups. You may not see that about yourself, but some people, they see you in those fields, even though you're not working those fields because you are very loving. People just gravitate towards you when it comes to their emotions. I mean, I feel like you may attract a lot of needy people like in your world. You may be master number 33 or a six or a nine, like a life path number six, nine or 33 I'm getting. You may attract a lot of people that need your help, that need your services, that need your love. You know, it could be friends, it could be family always calling you for support, okay? I feel like this is what you attract a lot. Even like strangers may gravitate towards you for support. We have the King of Cups and the High Priestess. You may know, like you may have esoteric knowledge. You're extremely knowledgeable more than you know and people see that about you, but you don't. You may think that the knowledge that you possess is basic knowledge, but it's not with the high priestess. It's not basic. Okay. So what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself? What do people see in you that you don't see in yourself? Yeah, I see we have the magician. You're a master manifesto. You speak things into existence. I feel like some people may have seen you in action, you manifesting things into action and um, into um, fruition, and you have not um, taken notice of that. Maybe for like, I'm getting like for all of you, pile number two, 
it's easy for you to speak things into existence it's easy for you to get things going because you have the three of wands as the main energy so that means you are a go-getter you're somebody that when you think of an idea you don't sit down and think about how you're going to do it you just start making plans towards it and you take action towards it so you you put one foot in front of the other and you keep on going even though it's not perfect you learn along the way and you perfect it along the way and you don't see that as a skill you don't see that as a talent i feel like a lot of you with the magician you say oh, okay i'm gonna do this and it's gonna take me three months or whatever it is you actually make it happen people see that about you but you don't see that about yourself you may think that it's just natural okay like oh it's supposed to be like that for everyone but you just mastered um the law of attraction you mastered that without knowing okay this is what i'm getting here and people see that about you but you don't see that about yourself you may just think that or you just happen to be lucky but you see we have the hermit you go from within you are extremely knowledgeable we have a lot of major arcanas for you only one um well two uh, minor arcanas but it's all major for you we have the hermit we have virgo twice so you may have virgo in your chart people see that about you that you are very wise beyond your years like the like i said the knowledge and the wisdom that you possess you may think everybody else has it or everybody else thinks like you but they don't what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself Ooh, the empress again so the Empress came out for pile number one, two. So let me just do this because the nudity on the Empress. This deck is very beautiful. If you guys want to get it, um, it's the Wheel of the Year Tarot, okay? But the Empress, creativity. People see that, your beauty. Some of you downplay your beauty. You may think that you're average looking, but you're not. A lot of you could be like, like look like models, Oh, I have the potential to be a model. Like I'm getting like um, runway with the Empress, but not just that. Like a lot of people see in you um, matriarch. Like you have the power to change a lot of things in the world. You're influential with the Empress. This is what I'm getting here. But a lot of you may not see that because of the fact that you think what you have is basic. This is what I'm getting here, but you're far from basic, pile number two. Ooh, you see, Queen of Wands. Uh, you're extremely attractive with the Queen of Wands. Magnetic. You're powerful. You're ambitious, okay? You're, there's a definitely a powerful energy about you with the, em with the Empress and the Queen of Wands being here. Whether you are a woman or a man watching here, people see that in you. You're definitely a pioneer. You're the first to ever do it, maybe in your family as well. What do people see in you that you don't see in yourself? What do people see in you that you don't see in yourself? You're definitely a competition. I feel like a lot of people compete against you. Guys, I can't make it up. <laughs> as I say that, the five of wands comes out. You may not see yourself as the competition, but people see you as such okay you have a lot of competition pile number two like i can't make it up as i was saying that it came out of the deck what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself oh yeah you're extremely some of you may not see that sometimes you may you weigh your heart on your sleeve with the page of cups but you're very sensitive and there's nothing wrong with being sensitive, but just make sure that you share your sensitivity with people that actually care for you and not people that are going to use it against you with the Page of Cups. You definitely have um, a soft side to you. Okay, so you may wear your heart on your sleeve at times. So just be careful with that, okay? So what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself? But yeah, you're definitely the competitor, like for a lot of people but like you may not see yourself as the competitor or like the competition because you're not competing with others you're competing with yourself but people are competing with you what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself Just one what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself guys you see this is another 
Two Swords is not about competition, but on this deck, you see these two are competing. I'm telling you, people see you as competition. Okay, it's because you're great. You have a lot of skills and you have a lot of talent that comes to you naturally. What do people see in you that you don't see in yourself? Ooh, we have the two cups. You're the ideal partner or people are very drawn to you when it comes to relationship. That you're desirable, I'm getting with the two cups. You may not see that about yourself, but you're extremely desirable, especially with the Empress being here and the Queen of Wands. What do people see in you? Wow, we have the sun again. Okay, so what I'm getting with the sun coming out twice is the sun is about vitality. It's about success. It's about ambition, okay? And people see that in you that you don't see in yourself because I feel like you see your skills, you see your talent as being like everybody has the same talent as you or everybody could do it like you because you could do it. So you assume that everybody else, it comes easy and naturally to them. While it doesn't, this is why Five of Wands is here. This is why they see you as the competition. Yeah, you see we have the Queen of Cups, Queen of Cups, King of Cups. You're emotionally in tuned. You're highly intuitive and uh, intuitive. Wow, I can't even speak. Holy moly. You're highly intuitive with the Queen of Cups. And I feel like you may see certain things about people that you may want to turn a blind eye to or like because you're very like um, soft and sensitive with the, uh, the page of cups, you may um, dismiss those feelings or those gut instincts that you have about certain people people see that about you but you don't see it but i'm getting like they may use that against you this is why i was getting like be careful who you show your feelings to because not everybody has your best interest at heart so what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself again three of wands um uh, you're action oriented you're a go-getter more than you know like like i said you feel like what you're doing is basic or what you're doing is like everybody should be doing that or everybody could do that. But no, nobody has like your drive and determination that you have. Only you possess that. And this is why people are competing against you because you get things done and it comes to you naturally without having to force it. We have the magician here and you're very good. Um, you work really well on your own. So you don't really need a team of people around you to get things done. Guys, I can't make it up the chariot structured and disciplined strong will determined this is what people see in you that you don't see in yourself you for you you being um disciplined waking up in the morning and doing a certain things in a certain manner every day it's a natural it's like a second instinct for you so you don't see that as something that is worth celebrating but it is not everybody could do that. A lot of people, they make excuses or they procrastinate or they lay back or sit back or do something else or they give themselves excuses as to why they can't do it. You don't do that. What do people see in you that you don't see in yourself? What do people see in you that you don't see in yourself, my pal? Number two. Yeah, you see, you're optimistic with the fool. You go after your dreams. You don't hesitate, you take a leap. You have unwavering faith, okay? Like definitely with the Fool and the Page of Cups, you have unwavering faith and some people, they, they're so uh, pessimistic. You're not like that. Especially with the sun being here twice, you're not a pessimistic person. No matter what happens to you in life, you try to look on the bright side and you're resilient with the death card as well. What do people see in you that you don't see in yourself? What do people see in you? Yeah, you're extremely patient. More than you know. Maybe sometimes you feel like you're um, you're impatient or you know things are not going your way and you want it to happen faster. That's okay. Like sometimes you may feel like that, but you actually are a patient person. Why? Because you actually wait for your dreams to come to fruition. You don't give up. Even though you get weary, you get tired, you don't give up. And that's what makes you great. That's what makes you um, impressive as well. What do people see in you that you don't see in yourself? What do people see in you? We have the world. You have a lot of accomplishment under your belt, my pal number two. 
but you dismiss them as being basic i don't know why i keep getting basic like you dismiss it as being basic but you're not you're not what you have accomplished in your life is far more than the people in your same age group or the people that are older than you what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself how creative that you are ace of wands okay i'm getting also sexual attraction very sexually alluring because the devil wanted to come out but it didn't but with the ace of wands this is what i'm getting here people see you as very magnetic powerful creative and very attractive you don't see that you may like you know may think that you're average looking but you're not average looking that's what i'm getting here okay so that's all i have for you my pal number two i hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pal number two bye hi pal three welcome to my channel this is stella beauty tarot back at you again with another video so my pal number three you picked the clear quotes crystal and this is going to be your reading okay so if you are a returning subscriber welcome back i'm so happy to have you back and if you are a newbie welcome thank you so much for tuning in so the way i like to do this is i like to smudge the cards first before we get started so we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings okay so my pal number three what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself my pal number three Ooh, we have the hierophant taurus energy okay you could be an earth sign or have to be taurus or just have earth element in your chart you're definitely a master at your craft you're highly respected i'm getting like master at your craft you're definitely a wise advisor people may come to you to seek out your um, expertise i'm also getting like uh you may not see the contribution that you um add to your community with the hierophant so what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself what do people see in you yeah we have the four of wands and we have the nine of swords like i'm getting like with the nine of swords people see that you worry too much you are you're stressing yourself out for no reason with the nine of swords like you have nothing to worry about like you're doing great you're amazing we have the four of wands you see the little girl so happy because her father built her a tree house okay this is like giving me stability because this is what the four of wands represent happiness success okay and i'm getting like people see you as like stressing out or worrying about things that do not really matter because you're doing amazing you are very stable you're doing better than you think you are in life maybe your family are seeing that about you that you worry too much with the nine of swords or you overthink things like yeah like yeah you see with the moon like you create situations that are not actually there with the moon and the nine of swords like it's all in your mind and i feel like you're the people around you maybe some people they want to help you with that but maybe you're not receptive to the help or you're not open to it but with the nine of swords i'm really getting like you don't have to worry like i'm also getting like with the hero font you provide amazing advice and you do follow your advice as well but you tend to worry a lot about like is like is what i'm doing good is it the right thing am i going to the right path like you're always reevaluating everything that you do you're always analyzing every little thing like you overthink things way too much with the nine of swords and you're not realizing that you're doing that okay so what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself yeah you are the empress the empress came out for all three uh piles 
so you are extremely beautiful and creative it's like you doubt yourself you doubt your skills and your talent you even doubt your wisdom like what you the advice that you give to others like you doubt it you doubt that it's the right thing you always second guess what you do you some of sometimes some of you even ask um for guidance with to other people that may not even know as much as you and it's like you doubt your skills with the empress okay people definitely see you as a beautiful woman a beautiful man okay we have the four of pentacles four of pentacles you see this man he looks like um a penny pincher like he's possessive look like uh, his four coins are falling on the floor but you see all the money all the the jewelries that he has in his bag but he's still worried about missing out or losing some okay so people may see you as such that you have everything going on for yourself there's nothing for you to worry about you're doing amazing i feel like you're stressing out maybe because in the past you you lacked or you were in poverty or you had to go through some sort of obstacle and challenge and you never want to go back to it so you want to make sure that you are always settled always doing well and you over like i'm gonna like you overthink things what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself and it's like it's an unnecessary stress that you provide like you're putting on your body what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself that you're grounded you're stable you're more stable than you think it's like you think that you're not where you want you're where you're supposed to be in life you're not doing as good as you think you are or that you feel like you're behind but you're not you're amazing with the hair font you're doing what your people look up to you this is what i'm getting here people celebrate you even in uh, public or in private you're highly respected you're a respectable person you don't see that about yourself you don't see the example that you bring to the next generation because you have an image of your life and where you're supposed to be and i feel like you may not be there as of yet but you are far from where you used to be and this is a great accomplishment within itself but you're still worried maybe you're still thinking about the past or afraid of like going back to the past but you're doing amazing what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself wow that you are definitely disciplined that you are structured like you're definitely an example the chariot you're you're um detail oriented and you're focused you're a hard worker with the chariot you don't see that you don't see how hard you worked to become the hero font okay because you are definitely the hero font is a wise counselor this is somebody that people look up to this is somebody that people go to for advice for guidance and you are that person already i feel like this is who you always wanted to be but you don't feel like you are there because of like maybe like i'm really getting like the past circumstances past issues past situations that may have made you feel like less than but you're not less than and this is what people see in you that you don't see in yourself you're definitely um an example for a lot of people even the older people or younger than you they look up to you because they like your work ethics especially with the chariot what do people see in you Ooh, we have the knight of cups that you're very charming you're really good with interpersonal um relationships this is why people gravitate towards you with the knight of cups like you definitely are a charmer you could get whatever you want you could finesse people if you wanted to people see that in you but you don't see it in yourself i feel like you naturally um get what you want from people without having to do any manipulation it's just like people are just naturally drawn to you so this is why they are able to do things for you or do favors for you because they love your energy okay and this is like something that you have naturally you don't have to manipulate like i say you don't have to do anything to get what you want people just want to help you they want to service you because they like your energy what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself yeah you see i just saw the eight of swords that you worry too much what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself yeah that you are adventurous you're optimistic in a way where when it comes to other people you know why i'm getting like optimism it's like you give them the advice 
you cheer them on but you worry for you like for yourself it's not like you don't follow your own advice you do follow your own advice but you tend to worry about oh is it the right thing is am i doing the right thing am i going the right path like because when you do it for others you encourage them you tell them yes you are doing the right thing yes you are going the, down the right path but when you're putting your um basically your teaching into practice you still tend to second guess yourself even though you know that it's the right thing to do it's like you want to be so perfect i feel like you may have like a um perfectionism maybe this is could be an issue it could be um something that push, uh, pushes you to procrastinate but people see that in you but they see the greatness in you as well okay so what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself yeah that you are extremely strong influential like i said that's what i was getting with the knight of cups like people gravitate towards you people love your energy and with the strength card you're more courageous than you know this is why even though it's like as if you know what i'm getting for you pal number three it's like feel the fear and do it anyway because you do see feel the fear the nine of swords it's not like you don't follow through on your actions or your decisions or your own understanding you still follow through with the knight of wands and the strength but you still it's this you doubt yourself before you take that leap it's like you it's kind of like you procrastinate a little bit because you are afraid of making a mistake but you still go go on with it you still go through with it okay with the strength card i hope that makes sense with the strength card you are definitely courageous even if it may take you a couple of times couple of tries or you know maybe a couple of months to get started you still get started okay you still act on it and people see that in you and some of you, you may doubt yourself you may maybe that's the reason why you feel like oh i'm not where I, i'm supposed to be i'm not where i want to be because you're not taking action right away but you're stable we have 444 you are protected what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself you are more intelligent than you think with the king of swords you're knowledgeable the king of swords is a knowledgeable individual we have the sun card leo energy we have leo twice we have leo we have um um the hair font which is taurus energy we have it twice and we also have um pisces energy and cancer energy right here so we have water we have earth and we have fire okay so with the sun card like i said successful influential this is what you don't see about yourself people are influenced by your impact that you have in the world by what you say what you do even if like i feel like some of you may even share your journey like you share the fact that you are fearful about making the steps and this is another reason why people are influenced by you because you're authentic you are real you talk about you're vulnerable you are an open book so people know that you are the real deal you're not pretending you're not acting like you're never scared yet you are scared with the nine of swords but you act on it but it's just like the thing that people notice about you is that you may second guess yourself at times but you are somebody who's definitely strong and courageous who has an, a lot of integrity who is powerful who has like stamina with the strength card and endurance you, you're able to do it with the sun like you definitely sometimes uh, battle between your self-doubt and like you know you being self-confident you battle between the two but your self-confidence always wins okay and this is another reason why people find you like super influential what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself wow guys the empress again beautiful creative you have amazing ideas and you also have this maternal instinct to you this is why people gravitate towards you as well for like nurturing for advice for like support yeah people see you as somebody who's extremely patient and dedicated i feel like you see your dedication as procrastination or your patience as procrastination but it's not it's definitely you uh, like um being patient with your goals your dreams but you see it as like this is why you may feel like you're not where you want to be in life what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself yeah we have the three of cups 
You are a beacon of light with the three cups. This is what I'm getting here. You are a beacon of light for a lot of people. You are, you bring like, you give people hope, even though the star is not here. This is what I'm getting here. What do people see in you that you don't see in yourself? Yeah, you see, I'm telling you, you make people happy. Ten of Cups. You're definitely a beacon of light. People are just so happy to be in your energy. They, they're so happy to be in your presence. You give them hope. What do people see in you that you don't see in yourself, but you see Nine of Swords again, guys? Like, you worry too much about making a mistake or not being on the right path. Like, and I feel like because... You want to be an example for others. A lot of you may know that you are an example for others. You're afraid of making a mistake out of fear of like maybe not looking like you know what you're doing. But there's nothing wrong with making mistakes. It's like owning up to your mistakes and learning from it and coming back stronger. This is what people respect a lot about you. Like people um, respect you very much like in your community. Even if like you have an online business or an online presence, people respect you. What do people see in you that you don't see in yourself? What do people see? Guys, uh, <laughs> the Empress three times. Gosh. Uh, yo, pal number three. You are that guy or you are that girl. Okay, like stop worrying about that. And I feel like maybe this is another reason why the Nine of Swords keeps coming out. You're worrying about not being that person that you think you are you are the empress you are the emperor you are that divine um archetype okay this is what i'm getting here you are definitely a wise counselor your wisdom your knowledge your expertise that you provide is like valuable to your community you cannot be replaced like i feel like maybe some of you could be um religious leaders or you want to be a religious leader what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself but you definitely see you as the empress and now we have the strength card again you are definitely influential you are powerful you're courageous like i said even if you feel the nine of swords you feel the fear and you do it anyway this is what people see in you that you don't see in yourself you may just see yourself as being fearful but you're not seeing yourself as being courageous like being courageous does not mean absence of fear that doesn't mean that it just means like you you still feel the fear you still feel like the doubt but you do it anyways and this is what i'm getting for you you don't see that you like you see procrastination you see like the bad side of everything and instead of like looking at the positive like you're so hard on yourself pal number three i feel like you're harder on yourself than you are on people so like let's say somebody comes in with a issue you will like be compassionate to them but to you you'll be so hard this is what i'm getting here what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself my pal number three that you're highly intuitive okay trust your intuition the high priestess cancer energy okay some of you doubt your intuition and this is what some people may see that you doubt your intuition or you doubt yourself but you are extremely powerful you're right on the dot okay so i feel like whenever you you get like a sense of somebody you're always right okay so that's all i have for you my pal number three i hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pal number three bye